Hello, my champs. Today we learn about friction. Introduction. Why are wheels attached to luggage trolleys? Why do we tend to slip on a wet floor? Why is that we cannot hold a glass firmly when our hands are oily? Have you ever wondered how a rolling ball eventually comes to a halt? How does the interaction between a matchstick and matchbox play a role in igniting the matchstick? These are due to friction. In this chapter, we will study about friction and its characteristics. Friction is the resistance that makes it tough for things to slide or move smoothly when they touch each other. It's like a natural stickiness between surfaces. Friction is a type of forces that opposes motion. It is that forces which always acts in a direction opposite to that of the applied force. In case of a ball freely rolling on the ground, the ball eventually comes to stop because of the force of friction that acts between the ball and the ground. When the rowing of a boat is stopped, the boat eventually comes to a halt because of friction. It also means that while rowing the force should be greater than the force of friction. As we studied in the previous case, friction is caused by the interaction between the surfaces which are in contact. Friction is caused by the irregularities on the two surfaces which are in contact. The irregularities on both surfaces tend to lock into each other, and this resists the motion of the object. The nature of the surface, 1. Smoothness, 2. Roughness, affects the friction. Smooth surfaces have lesser irregularities. The lesser the irregularities, the lesser the tendency to lock. The lesser the tendency to lock with another object, the lesser the friction that is tendency to oppose motion. So, a ball rolls faster and covers a greater a distance on a smooth surface such as a marble floor or a wet floor. Rough surfaces have more irregularities. More the irregularities, the more tendency to lock. The more the tendency to lock, the more the friction that is tendency to oppose motion. And so, a ball rolls slowly and covers a lesser distance on a rough surface such as muddy playground. Think of a rough muddy playground. So, it obviously means that to get the ball rolling, we have to apply a force which is greater than the frictional force offered by the ground. This also explains while trekking on hilly and watery terrains, we wear groovy sports shoes so that rough shoes establish better locking with the Healy trains, increase friction, provide more grip, and decrease chances of a slip. This also explains why we cannot hold a glass with oily hands. Our hands are greasy and smooth, and we know that smooth offers lesser interaction or lock with the glass. And hence it tends to slip. Friction comes in various types. 1. Static friction. 2. Kinetic or dynamic friction. 3. Rolling friction. 4. Fluid friction. Definition of static friction. A force that opposes the initiation of motion between two surfaces at rest. Examples. To slide a book on a table initially encounters static friction. Pushing a car. Before a car starts moving, static friction opposes the force applied to push it. Starting to slide a box, shifting a heavy box on the floor, we experience static friction initially. Kinetic or dynamic friction, the force resisting the relative motion or sliding of two surfaces in contact. Example 1. Sliding a book across a table. 2. Ice skating where the blades encounter friction with the ice. 3. Driving a car on a road. 4. Rubbing your hands together briskly. 5. 
opening, a sliding, glass door. Rolling friction, the force, resisting the motion, when an object rolls, on a surface. Example, 1. Rolling, a tire, on the road. 2. Pushing, a shopping cart, with wheels. 3. Riding, a skateboard, on a pavement. 4. Rolling, a ball along, a surface. Fluid friction, resistance encountered, by, an object, moving through, a fluid, liquid, or, gas, such as, air or water. Fluid friction example, swimming, through water. Some of the ways, to reduce friction. 1. Lubricants. 2. Wheels. Lubricants. A lubricant, is a substance, often in the form of, oil or grease, used to reduce friction, between, surfaces in contact. It helps in, facilitating smooth movement, and, preventing wear, and tear, in machinery, or between, moving parts. Example, we apply oil, to, screechy doors, in our houses. Wheels. Wheels are designed, to, reduce friction, and make movement, more efficient. The circular shape, of a wheel allows it, to roll smoothly, minimizing, the resistance encountered, during motion. Thank you, for watching, if you like this video, please comment, the next chapter name, that you want.